everybody how's it going we're talking about niche fragrances for beginners now side note most niche fragrances are unisex scents they are marketed as unisex sometimes you'll see some that say for men sometimes you'll see some that say for women but pretty much this is the next level this is the big leagues there's no training wheels of oh only guys should wear this only girls it's all about the juice and if you're confident enough to rock these all right so i'm gonna start with Tobacco Vini by Tom Ford. And if you're thinking, wait, Tom Ford's a designer, that's a designer scent, I totally agree. But the reason I'm starting the list off with this is because the price of these private blends are pretty similar to niche fragrances. So some people consider them niche. And I have to throw Tobacco Vini in here because this is one of those scents that if you've ever only just smelled your standard designer scents from Macy's, Sephora and Ulta and then you wear this it's a total game changer you know this is a fragrance that makes you feel confident it makes you feel bold it's not it does have some sort of polarizing aspect to it but it's polarizing in the safest way possible if you know what I mean like this is definitely a head turning scent it easily performs over 12 hours and on me I don't really get tobacco and vanilla I get gingerbread cookies and a chai latte, pretty much. This is Christmas in a bottle to me. So it's more of a sweet, cozy scent, but that, like this being sweet and sexy, a lot of people find, I mean, sweet and um, cozy, lots of people find it to be sexy, like a fragrance that makes people weak in the knees. When I wear this scent, I really just kind of want to cuddle into myself. It's a cuddles galore type of fragrance, and my scent trail is always really nice. This really gets the head turning reaction whenever I'm passing by people or if I'm around people, the way it radiates is lovely. So you're gonna get amazing performance with Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Now onto the real niche fragrances, I'm gonna throw in Gris Charnel by BDK. Now I'll put all the names of the fragrances and discount site links in the description in case you're interested in getting them for not retail price. If we're trying to on help try to save some money all right paying full retail for these there's no need to do that no need to do that so Gris Charnel is for people that like black tea fig fragrances and if you also like cardamom now cardamom is the spice that to me I find it super sexy if you've tried anything like Le Nuit de L'Homme by YSL and you kind of like that spice in the beginning that's cardamom so that is in this fragrance and that's my favorite part of this fragrance now this one is very airy even though it has like even though this has a little bit of just a tiny bit of weight to it because it's not a scent i would recommend on a hot summer day you know what i mean i don't know if it's the fig or something that kind of keeps this fragrance a little bit grounded but overall this is a lovely springtime fragrance this smells really good in the air i actually just sprayed it but that video kind of got messed up, so I'll spray it again. It's kind of, it's all <laughs> my scent bubble right now, but I'm gonna show you the sprayer on this thing. Check it out. It's like air freshener. It's everywhere now. But yeah, this thing to me is just a fragrance also that people that would love yoga or people that love yoga, I feel like you would really enjoy this fragrance. Or if you're somebody that doesn't drink coffee, you only drink tea, I think you would love Gris Charnel. This is a very versatile fragrance. Um, you can wear it as your signature. It's going to smell fantastic. And the only downside, though, is that performance sucks. The longevity I get is less than four hours, and that blows for a fragrance that's over $150. You know what I mean? But if you're somebody that wants to overspray and you love the black tea, you love the fig, you love the cardamom, and who knows, maybe on your skin this holds a lot longer, then definitely look into it. So Gris Charnel by BDK. Next... I'm gonna throw in Amris Om. So this fragrance, by it's by MFK. It gets a lot of hate in the fragrance community because some people find it to smell too designer-esque, meaning it's a bit too safe, especially for the price you pay, which is over $200 for this fragrance. I think last time I saw this on my link, it was around 180. I would have to check it again. But all that aside, this smells so good on me. I kind of get this laundry-like vibe. Like it's a very easy, fresh, clean type of fragrance. If you like linen fresh and clean, 
I think you're gonna enjoy this one right here. And this has very good mass appeal. The reactions you hear from the fragrance community online and the reactions you'll get from people around you when you're actually wearing this, day and night. One group thinks, oh, it's just, it's not worth its price because it just smells too common, which I understand actually. But honestly, I love this fragrance. I love wearing it for myself. It smells so good. And whenever people smell this in my collection, they just go nuts over it. And I'm not talking about other fragrance enthusiasts, just regular people that don't care about fragrances. This is always one that stands out with like, oh my God, that smells so good. Now I know that it says Om. So yes, this is marketed to men, but <laughs> there have been a lot of girls that have smelled this in my collection and wanted to wear it for themselves because it just straight up smells clean and really, really likable. So much better than Omris Femme, in my opinion. But there it is. If you like things like Prada Lhomme, if you like, I was gonna say Chanel Blanche, but they're a little bit different. Or no, no, Lhomme, that's what I'm thinking. Lhomme by YSL, then I think you're gonna enjoy this one right here. This is gonna kind of take it up to the next level. And the performance I get with this, no problem with like, oh, I said that backwards, but seven hours, no problem. This thing really does last on me. Um, I, I don't know how people would get poor performance with this unless it really is their skin chemistry. But yeah, for a fresh and clean fragrance over seven hours, I mean, no complaints. No complaints with this one. All right, number, oh, excuse me, my nose. Number, I don't know what number we're on, but I'm gonna go with a little bit of a daring fragrance in my hand. It's Black Phantom by Killian. This is not for the faint of heart. This is a very, very, very sexy fragrance. There's some coffee, some dark chocolate, and some rum. This scent, to me, it's like Medusa in a bottle. And don't think, oh, she said Medusa, that means it's a feminine fragrance. Like all the other ones I have mentioned, very unisex. May Amra's own, technically more masculine, but this super unisex scent. If you're looking for the dark, alluring, mysterious type of vibe, Killian is just overall a great house to start with because it is a level up and it smells fantastic. Now with Black Phantom, when I wore this fragrance, I just felt like that person. Whatever room I was in, I'm like, I'm the business. Like this thing is a confident, like sexy, attractive type of fragrance. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of this darkness to it. It's not like a fun, oh, everybody's my friend type of scent. Definitely not. There is something brooding about this fragrance, but very attractive. You know, this is one of those scents that's like, I don't chase, I attract. I think I put that, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't include this in my other one. I made a video about that as well, but that was for introverts. But yeah, Black Phantom, I was gonna say Black Killian, no, Black Phantom by Killian, a banging scent, and it easily performs over 12 hours. This is a part of the uh, this travel size, but this is a magnetic cap, which is super sick. And I love this because I could bring it wherever I want to. All right. Now we've got Sidrat Wazé by Mancera, marketed as another unisex fragrance we have here. I will say this can go a little bit more masculine, but still a girl can pull this off if she wants to. The only thing that I would say gives it that kind of masculinity is that there is the woodiness and the dry down of this fragrance can go a bit masculine. On me, I definitely get more of the fruity opening, like how it smelled like Jamba Juice in the opening. Um, but when my sister wore this, it definitely smelled more masculine on her. So this is like, you have to really test it on your own skin. But one of my favorite fresh citrusy, well, not even citrusy, fruity type of scents. There is really not too many fresh and clean fragrances that perform over 12 hours, but this one, does with five sprays. I remember I sprayed it in the morning, still smelled it on myself before I went to bed. Like fresh out of the shower, sprayed this before bed, still smelled it. You know what I mean? This is some serious juice right here. And I've heard about reformulation and them introducing to drop was a intense. I have no comment on that because I haven't tried that or any of the later batches of this. But when I received, when I bought this fragrance, I think it was maybe it was last year. You know what I mean? So I I wasn't searching for new badges or anything. I literally was just like, let me buy Cedrop. I don't 
do batch numbers. I'm not like, oh, this is the one I got, blah, 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 blah. Don't really know too much about that. But this shit lasts. Like, this is a long-lasting scent, but I did go nose blind to it. I thought that it was completely off of me until I was outside with my sister, and she was like three arms lengths away from me. She was far away from me. And I'm like, man, I think my fragrance went away. And she was like, no, nah, I could still smell you from here. And we were outside, all right? So this thing has performance to drop was a by Mancera. Now, of course, I can't make a list like this without including a Parfums de Marly, which is Leighton. And I would, I would, would like to throw in Delina, and I forgot it's in the other room right now, but I'll put Delina in this. I'll explain that one in a bit. But Leighton is this apple cardamom vanilla scent. Very versatile. You can wear it all seasons. I would say summer nights though, not summer days. I don't recommend it for humid weather at all. Um, but this is just super like, whoa, whoa, what happened to my, there it is. Okay. My girlfriend took some of the juice from this so that it was popping up. But yeah, the pff, great beginner niche scent. This is going to be one of those fragrances that you try and you're like, I'm not going to try, try anything else. It's this one. I want this one as my signature scent. And trust me, go out clubbing with this, go out on a date, go out doing whatever at nighttime with this fragrance. You're going to be the only one rocking Leighton. And on top of that, you're going to smell fantastic and mass appealing. And if you're rolling your eyes thinking, everybody wears Leighton, blah, 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 blah. Again, recognize the difference between the fragrance community online versus people in the real world that you're actually going to be interacting with, aka people that don't watch fragrance videos and don't know Parfums de Marly. They don't know Leighton. They know Bleu de Chanel, they know Dior Sauvage, they know Coco Mademoiselle, but they don't know Parfums de Marly and Leighton, yet it is not popular in the real world. But yeah, this scent easily performs over 12 hours. This was a huge compliment monster for me. Do I use it as much anymore? Not really, because I've gravitated to Carlisle, which I would recommend for the step above. I wouldn't say Carlisle's for beginners, but yeah, this thing definitely put in work when I wore it before, when I would wear it all the time. Endless, endless like compliments from everybody around me whenever I wore it. So this thing really does pull. Leighton by Parfums de Marly. And of course, I do have to give that shout out to Delina. It sucks I don't have the bottle of it right now behind me, but Delina's a pink bottle of that one is a more feminine fragrance and it smells like lychee and rhubarb. So lychee is this exotic juicy fruit and rhubarb is a little bit of the sour sort of smell. But on me and on everybody I've smelled Delina on, they just smell like lychee, which is, which is lovely, right? I haven't ran into anybody that smells like straight up rhubarb, but there are people that do. So go to Nordstrom, test it on your skin, see how you like it. And Delina is an all day, long lasting type of fragrance. No problem over 10 hours. It's just gonna be there the whole entire time you're going somewhere. So don't knock Delina by Parfums de Marly. And I have to throw in Baccarat Rouge 540, all right? I know people are kind of sick of this one and they're like, oh no, Baccarat Rouge is overrated, blah, blah, blah. Again, this video is for beginners. This is for people looking to take that next step that might have heard of Baccarat Rouge and they're like, damn, is it worth it? Is it worth the hype? And honestly, let me say this, I've done an individual review about this fragrance, but when you take into account the actual scent, which this smells like, um, it kind of smells like, yeah, it smells like cotton candy. Yeah, it smells like cotton candy, like a sweet cotton candy, right? And then you think of the performance, and this thing performs easily over 12 hours. The scent trail, the projection, all that is great with this fragrance. The price, of course, it's a niche, so you already know what you're getting into, right? All of that and, and the, uh, the mass appeal, it's there. It definitely checks, up, checks off all the boxes. The only downside with this fragrance is that it's too great. And that's not even technically a downside, but it became so great and popular to a point where there are so many dupe companies trying to rip off this fragrance for like $30, $40. Cloud by Ariana Grande is a dupe of this scent. So it's a DNA that is now smelled everywhere. The uniqueness of this fragrance is not 
as unique as it once was just because people have heard about this and they can't get the OG so they'll get a dupe and now the like the thought of Bakura when people think of Bakura it's a bit watered down just because of how it's it's not as exclusive anymore at least that type of DNA you know what I mean so with uniqueness not really there but again remember this is the OG this is the one this is the blueprint right here and if you're all about the blueprint all about the OG you don't give a fuck about paying for like a lame dupe or anything like that you're like no I want the real thing then this is the fragrance I will say though I do like cloud I do think that it kind of smells more coconutty and that there's like this interesting whipped cream note in it and I, I do I do like cloud that thing does have good performance but none of the dupes I've smelled smell exactly like Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, so I'm going to throw that one in there. And I think, you know what, this is, this is a really safe one. I have to throw it in, and this will be the last one. But <sighs> Lamar by Kajal Perfumes. This is a sweet pineapple fragrance. This is for the gourmand lovers. This is for somebody that wants something sweet. You want, it, you want people to kind of like take a bite, you know what I mean? Just the, entice them where they want to just bite into you. I know that kind of sounds a bit dramatic, honestly. But yeah, some people want others to be like, damn, I want to lick your neck, I want to do this. It's just, you smell so good, you know? So if you're a gourmand lover, Lamar by Kajal Perfumes, straight up sweet pineapple scent. It's really, really good. Unisex fragrance, it lasts easily over 12 hours. It's no joke in terms of longevity, scent trail, and projection. I was gonna say performance, projection. Yeah, I do love this fragrance. My girl rocks this and she smells fantastic. But there is this guy that subscribed to me. And I remember, oh gosh, man, I can't remember your name, man. I'm sorry, but like he rocks this and he's like, yeah, I'm the best smelling dude everywhere I go. So Lamar by Kajal Perfumes, amazing. Again, all the names of the fragrances and the discount site links will be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.